What's good, world? It's your boy, Infamous YB, a.k.a. Kaiser Sose, a.k.a. DGOYBENT President. Welcome to another edition of Keep It 100. I'm glad that you guys tuned in for part two. Let's get right into it. Um, the first thing we want to talk about today will have to be the hot song. The song that I got in my iPod that I'm listening to right now. Um, it, it's the Dream Rock. I'm gonna rock your butt. You'll hear it at the end because I made a video for it. Um, but that's the hot song for right now that I'm listening to. One of the hot songs. The Dream Rock. Um, you can go get that on, you can go search that on YouTube, iTunes, just type it in on Google and it's everything you'll see. So, um, that's the hot song. Um, next we're going to get into Fitted Hat Corner. Got the red and white socks on today. You know what I mean? Um... Hold on. This ain't even this ain't even a fifty nine fifty. This ain't even a real hat. Man, get this shit out of here, man. Got that got that New York red, white, and black. Got the Punisher pin on there. I told y'all I do the pins. Feel me? Real fifty nine fifty. That's all I do over here, you feel me? I don't know how that got over here. I don't know how that got over here. Um, so, yeah, that's Fitted Head Corner for you. Um, now we're going to get into the topic of the day. Now, the topic of the day, it stems from the movie Think Like a Man. Now, since I haven't seen the movie yet, I haven't read the book yet, um, all I have seen was previews, I'm going to give infamous YBs 10 things a man can do to be chivalrous to his woman that I think you will get points for. Um, leave comments, you know what I mean? Hit me up on Facebook if you want to, you know, go in depth about what you think your top things is or, you know, what you will want if you're a female. So um, I'm going to go on here and kick it off. 10. This is in no chronolo chronological order. I'm just, just spinning it out there. But 10. I would have to say listening. That's 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 something that a lot of men have strayed away from as time gone as time has gone on. And I'm one and I'm and I'm an example of that. You know what I mean? Like they say you got two ears, one mouth. So listen more, fellas. Um nine, I would have to say, would be caring. Putting somebody else's feelings ahead of your own you know as men we feel that you know we got to be the masculine one we can only care about ourselves it's self-preservation and we we lose sight that you know we have a delicate flower you know that's in our presence that we don't even water right you know so listen number eight number eight would have to be be truthful tell the truth Tell the truth, man. If they can't take the truth, then apparently they don't need to be with you. You know what I mean? So number seven, number seven would have to be, um, be a man. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid to to own your masculinity. You know, don't lose sight of who you are as a man trying to fit in with the fads and you know what's what's popular now. You know, because a woman don't want another woman. Because if she wanted another woman, she'd be with another woman. She wants a, a, a man. She wants, uh, you know, for you to be masculine. You know, for you to, you know, have a deep voice, you know, with your chest out. You know, she wants you to be hairy. She don't want, you know, just be a man. That's all I'm saying. Just be a man. Um, Number six. Number six, I would have to be, I would have to say, do the little things, you know. A lot of people, especially once they get married, they lose sight of doing the little things for the next person just to keep things going along. You know, like if I go in the kitchen, give me something to drink. Why well, I can't bring you back something to drink or at least ask you, do you want something to drink? That's a small thing that means a lot to a person. You know, a person might think you've been being a jack a the whole week and you do that one thing and they be like, yep, that's why that's why I married this person. You know, that's why I want to spend the rest of my life with this person. So you never never knock the small things because the small things do count, because if you're looking at a picture and this picture is made up of a thousand pictures. Even though you see the big picture, you got to pay attention to them individual pictures or you're going to miss the whole thing. Um, 
Number five, number five, I would have to say, um, spice things up, man. Don't be, don't let your woman have to always come to you with a new idea, you know, come to you with some spice, come to you with, you know, a new adventure, come to her, you know what I'm saying, come to her, you know, bring an idea to her, you know, um, I don't know about all that dressing up in a wig and let's pretend like we don't know each other, I don't know about that, if that's what you into, do you, but I'm just saying, like, for me, you know, I do the flowers, you know, I do the poems, you know, um, you know, I try to make a scene at the job, you know, come in with the flowers, balloons, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. You know, the other females would be looking like, oh my God, she got a good one. Yeah, she do got a good one, you know, because I know the 10 things that I need to do. It ain't just 10, but I know 10 things that I need to do to make sure she stay happy. And, and, and in the end, make sure I stay happy. So number four will have to be, um, don't be cheap. How you gonna how you gonna say you love this girl or you wanna be with this girl, but you cheap? Cheap. Cheap! You can't be cheap, fam. You can't be cheap, fellas. If you be cheap, you get what you put in. If all you get, if all you put in is time, that's all you gonna get is time. If all you put in is money, then that's all you gonna get is money. If you put time, money, effort, hard work, blood, sweat, tears, if you put everything you got into a relationship, you bound to get everything you want out of it. So number four, man, you got to do it. I think number four is a big one. I like that. Number three, number three, this is an adult show, so I got to get into it. Sex. Men, don't be afraid to be a freak for your woman. Now, I ain't talking about all that extracurricular activity. But what I am talking about is, you know, have a conversation, have a dialogue with your woman and find out. What she like, what she don't like, you know, what makes her feel good, what gets her motor going, you know, don't just think it's all about you, because when it's, in, in the end, it will be all about you, by yourself, so, fellas, you better get your, you better get your game right, because if you don't, what they say, the next man will, um, so I'm gonna go on here and say, now num number two, now, number two would have to be, um, I think this is a pretty big one, too. But like I said, my one through ten is in no chronological order. I'm just spitting them out there. But number two, I would have to say, would be compliments. I know you're like, what? Compliments? Yeah, compliments. Compliment her. Tell her that she looks good. Tell her that, you know, um, that hairstyle looks great on her. Tell her that you like the way she look in those jeans. You know, tell her, tell her, tell her, please, tell her. Because women need that reassurance from the man who she loves or, you know, likes a lot. She needs that reassurance that today she feel like she having a bad hair day. But you come in and say, ooh, babe, I love that hair. I love the way your hair look today. And she going to be, you know, she, she going to rock it. You know what I mean? You you never know what, what, what a quick compliment can do for a woman's self-esteem or for anyone's self-esteem for that matter. So number two would have to be compliment your woman. Let her know what you like about her. So she can be like, okay, well, he said my hair, he said my lips, he said my the, my, 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 the way I fit in these jeans, he said this, he said that. But he ain't say this, he ain't say this, he ain't say this. I know this is a good attribute, I guess, so why he ain't say that? So she's going to want to, you know, do better. She's going to want to compete with herself for you. So always give compliments, fella. It's, it never hurts. Unless you're just a jerk and your compliments come out as you being sarcastic or you judging somebody. Then in that case, keep your compliments to yourself. Compliment yourself. But um, number one. Number one thing I think that a man should do to be chivalrous to his woman would have to be dream with your woman. You know? Like... Build with her. Because a lot of women, they get in relationships and they just look at it like, oh, well, the sex is good. Um, We have fun when we out in clubs and stuff together. But we can't talk. We can't do this. We can't do that. It's like, if you sit back and you just hold your woman at night and just you just talk to her about how, you, how your day went, how her day went, and then y'all just get the 
talking about dreams and feelings and what y'all think life should be like in the future and what you want the next 10 years to be like, you will be surprised how much you can find out about your woman if you just talk to her. So I'm not going to say dream. I'm going to say communication. Put it like that. Communication. Talk to your woman. You know what I mean? I know compliment and talking, you have to talk to compliment, but this is something totally different. I mean, ask her how her day went. Ask her, you know, why your arm like that? And then she going, oh, well, I got a crook. Well, let me massage that. You know what I mean? Have communication in your relationship because once communication gone, all you have is misunderstandings and bullshit. Excuse my French. But this is another episode of Keep It 100. I'm your host, D-G-O-Y-B-E-N-T, President, Dash, Infamous Y-B, Dash, Kaiser Sose, and all I got to say is, oh yeah, before I go, I got a few shout outs. I want to shout out Deshaun Dublin, I want to shout out Tanisha J, I want to shout out Nikoya Goodman, I want to shout out King Black, I want to shout out my VP Cas, I want to shout out my big bro, Double O Mello. I want to shout out my little bro, Deuce, a.k.a. Maurice. I want to shout out everybody who paid attention, who's still paying attention, and who will pay attention to this show. I just want to say thank y'all and just continue to come, and I'm going to continue to come up with ideas to make you want to come back. And last but not least, shout out to my little sister. What's up, Brittany? I love you, Britt Britt. Go on here. And you in keeping it.